Hey, good dog. Back again once again. Let's go ahead and lock in. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm here to expose the truth as to why foreigners are really choosing Filipinas. And if you don't know, y'all about to know. All right. I was staring at my W-2 the other day, right? I was looking at it because I was, you know, getting my tax documentation together, man. Trying to get my little refund and shit. And I realized that the income that I make here in the United States puts me in the one percentile tax bracket as an income earner if I was making the exact same money in the Philippines. Then Doc got to thinking, I was like, man, guess what, man? I just realized that my income, not a lot, I'll tell you the truth. If I had that same income in the Philippines, I would be a fucking king. And it made me realize, yo, the reason that a lot of foreigners are choosing to date Filipinas, outside of the fact that their money goes a longer way over there, is that Filipinas are generally low maintenance and easy to maintain. Think about the a think about the most expensive thing that a woman in the West could ever request from you. Right? A Bugatti. Buy me a condo. Whatever it is, right? And think about the most extravagant thing that a Filipina could ask you for. Whether it be a condo, probably a Toyota Vito Vios or some shit, <laughs> you know, because that's what's popping in the Philippines. And you'll realize that the value of what they're asking for, if it came from a materialistic standpoint, pales in comparison to the West, right? And then I got to thinking, I realized that most Filipinas are practical in the majority of their requests, right? It's never anything outlandish, extravagant, or something that a foreigner just generally can't afford, right? Overall, what Filipinas ask for in request and relationships and money wise or uh, materialistic wise, it's never anything that is too far fetched for your average foreigner to be able to afford, right? And if you think about it out loud, if you think about the types of obstacles, hurdles, and things that you would possibly have to go through to try to get laid in the West versus all of the obstacles and courses and probably minimal barriers of entry, likely in the Philippines, chances are you'll realize that you're coming out better over here in the Philippines than you are in the West. Again, main reasons why foreigners are choosing to date Filipinas, right? Outside of the general characteristics of the young ladies, right? Outside of what, you know, value you feel these women can bring to your life at whatever point in your life you are at the moment, whether you are retired, whether you are still young and, you know, in your early part of your life, but you're still looking to settle down with a young lady from the particular country, you start to weigh the pros and cons, ladies and gentlemen, and you realize that there are likely more pros then there are cons when it comes to dating women in the Philippines, right? Again, like I said, it starts with general maintenance, man. Low maintenance, man. Easy to maintain, me and easy to upkeep, if you ask me. Filipinas, like I said, they're very practical in their request. They don't ask you for a lot of shit. And if they do ask you for shit, crazy shit, you can always say no, right? But in the U.S., I've learned that most guys, when it comes to dealing with women there, it's kind of like... A demand more so than it is a request right because in the Philippines they'll make a request for it they'll ask you for it or whatever in the United States oh if you don't give me this <laughs> if you don't do this for me you ain't getting shit right you start to see how the tone and the attitude and all that shit changes as well so honestly Filipinas also provide a differing perspective of sorts when it comes to why foreigners are choosing to date them, right? They're different. To us, they're exotic. No different than a foreigner coming to the Philippines. They're exotic, right? We're different. We're two different cultures, two different backgrounds, two different ways of thinking, for the most part, that are eventually about to come together and see if we can figure out how to make this thing work. And as a result of that, I don't know about y'all, but I'm always into something new, right? I'm always into trying new things, right? I don't know if Filipinas are a delicacy, but damn it, I'm always interested in trying to do shit, right? So again, that also plays a major role as well. They're not like women in the West. They're not like women you've ever dated in the West or anything like that before. So it's kind of a new thing. Your boo thing is the new thing. And as a result, foreigners are looking to say, I've been over here before. I've experienced this. It's cool. Works out. But there's nothing wrong with going to check out something over here. Just for a little bit, right? Different playground, different way of thinking, different way of approaching. It's fun. It's new. It's revitalizing, in my opinion, right? Because when you've been doing the same thing constantly, day in, day out, the monotony of it all, 
whether you choose to go online, try to find a young lady in the West, get the cash app request, the bio about what they're not going to take, the bio telling you if you're not six foot or taller, 250 swole as fuck, don't even bother talking to me, as opposed to, yeah, you know, I just want a good man, right? Somebody down to earth, somebody that I could build a life with, right? Granted, like I said, the super dramatic over here isn't always as dramatic when it comes to dealing with all of them. The same over here, just because they say that they want these things doesn't necessarily mean that they're all in the market looking for those things, right? But at least you get a different tone when you're dealing with women in Asia. It's a different tone. It's a different way of talking. It's a different way of approaching. It's a different way of feeling. It's refreshing. It's vitalizing, in my opinion. Again, it's a refreshing cup of lemonade, man. It's what it feels like. That's why. A lot of guys are choosing to say, yeah, let's go check this out over here. Now, if you've been in the market for a while, like I have, you know, spent a lot of time over there, the majority of my life, about a third of it, and you've been in there, you've, you understand the landscape, you've played in this field before, you'll ask me, Doc, why is it that you still continue to date them, right? The reason it is, is every Filipina provides something new, right? I do believe that every Filipino that you'll deal with will likely provide you something new, again, You'll have some uh, some overlapping behavior and characteristics for some. But as long as you recognize and understand what it is that is, this is going to be for you, as long as you recognize exactly what is being asked for or what is being requested or, you know, you've been in a situation where you've dealt with people like this before, ain't too much you can, that can surprise you, right? Ain't a lot that can surprise you at this point. So if you want me to really expose the truth, ladies and gentlemen, about why, a lot of guys are choosing to deal with Filipinas. I kind of feel it has a lot to do with the fact that it doesn't cost you as much. Right? Quality of life is a little bit different. You recognize the value in trying and or being around someone new. And as a result, it's something that you want to explore. That could apply to just about any other woman, man. I mean, it really does. It doesn't really have to necessarily equate to just Filipinas alone. But I do realize that the marketplace right now is on fire for Filipinas. I believe that. I believe that. Now, again, that doesn't mean that women from India or, you know, J Japan and places like that aren't also getting the same looks. But what I will say is if you think about it in reference to Southeast Asia in its general essence or Asia in its general essence china most of those women stick to their own think about it uh i'm talking about any race not just black or white or indifferent i mean most of the time chinese women will date chinese men not saying that there aren't guys that have had successful relationships with chinese women but the japanese i do believe that for the majority they stick to their own uh vietnam cambodia you may have that same rhetoric you may I'm not saying that you will but you might but when you think about thailand and you think about the philippines these are two countries that I personally believe are probably the most open to interracial relationships with foreigners. Those two particular countries in Southeast Asia are probably the most open. India, not so sure. Uh, Myanmar and other places like that. Singapore, Malaysia, not so sure. But without a shadow of a doubt, Filipinas, women from Thailand... Probably the two most open countries when it comes to interracial dating and interracial relationships uh, in Southeast Asia. I would actually challenge you to find me another country that's more open than those two. And I do believe that also plays a role and exposes some of the reasons why guys are choosing to go to these places as well. It's a little bit easier, a whole lot cheaper. Hope you guys found some value in this. Doc's out, man. Take care. I'm on to the next one. You enjoyed the video? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Facebook, somewhere down there. Patreon, somewhere down there. Ebooks, somewhere down there. Check me out, ladies and gentlemen. I got some good shit coming. Awesome shit coming. Just wait for it. All right, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.